Give it, give it, give it to Eddie Cavani. Pass him the ball and watch him score all the goals. <laughs> Let me stop this. I had to do that. Shout out to Bashi for that chant. Shout out to United for that result. United 2-0 against Everton. A game where we started brilliantly for the first 20, 30 minutes. It died out for 50-60. Then Cavani came up with what was an utterly, utterly top class finish. Martial making it 2-0. United through to the semi-final. Another away win. A performance which... Over the grand scheme of the whole 90 minutes, United did not play that well in that game. But we came out of the blocks firing against Everton. And before you ask, I haven't even had a drink today. I was just excited that Eddie Cavani came up with that goal in that moment. And what a goal. What a top class striker's finish that was on his weaker left foot, firing it into the other corner. And United needed that because it was a... Uh, it was a frustrating game. In between that first 30 minutes and that last 10 minutes, it was very, very frustrating. Everton were dominated by United in the first early exchanges. We had chances for Cavani. We had chances if we had chances galore. Popper's little back heel to Van der Beek. But we couldn't finish. And after that point, it, you got a bit nervous, didn't you? You got a little bit nervous that, ah, Calvert-Lewin's going to pop up with a header or something. And then... Everton had a couple of chances. It started getting a bit tense because Everton sat deeper in their shape and United couldn't really break them down. We weren't able to get the balls in behind for Rashford and Martial, who, Sol who Solskjaer brought on. Uh, but Cavani made the difference. Martial, look, it was hilarious <laughs> what he did when he tried to take a shot and then decided to take the ball off his own foot with his other foot. But Martial got the assist. Martial got a goal there at the end. And Martial, for a player who... He really hasn't been fine in the back of the net. You know, if you look at the game against Leeds, he got a couple of assists as well. And that goal there could make such a difference to Martial. And as I said previously, what a difference a year can make. Because the feeling going into the end of this year and the start of 2021 is so substantially different to what it was last year and where it was with Solskjaer last year that... We've made real, real progress. The Leeds game was a was a massive statement, for, I think, for United. To come out and play like that, that aggressive, get the goals that quick against a team which has been very good this season in the Premier League. All credit to Bielsa and what he's done at Leeds there. They're a good team. United blew them apart. Tonight, in the first 20 minutes, we blew Everton apart. We just didn't have the finishing to match the football. And that was a completely changed team. Nine changes from the Leeds game. Only Maguire and I think Pogba started in the Leeds game. But the tempo was very similar. Van der Beek was involved in lots of it. Oh no, sorry, Fernandes. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. There was only a couple of players that started against, um, against Leeds. It was Fernandes and Maguire, I think. But the tempo stayed the same. Tedes coming in. Twan Zebe at right back. Credit to him. I think he played very, very well. And... and it, it's clear that Brandon Williams isn't really trusted by Oregon Solskjaer enough to play that often. Timothy Fosu Mensa, I don't really think he's got a future in the first team. So maybe Twan Zebi at right back. Let's see what happens. I still think he could be a fantastic centre back. Eric Bai coming in and playing like Eric Bai does. Great moments, mad moments, moments that make you scratch your head. But that's what Eric Bai is as a player. But the headlines today are certainly going to go to Edison Cavani for what was a fantastic goal. Yes, he probably would have got sent off if VAR was on. But VAR was not on and it looked like he did grab the throat of Yerry Mina. I don't really know what he was doing. That was a, a strange decision from him. But United, man. To go from what we did against Leeds, I think what United has taught us in recent years is uh, to always go into a game with pessimism. It's hard not to now. It really, really is. And after that performance against Leeds, I, I expected a drop-off. And I definitely expected a drop-off because we made nine changes to the start of 11. But the first 20 minutes was very, very similar. The pressing was there. Team pressing. The football was there. The through balls. The movement. The passing was there. The finishing wasn't there. That, that was a difference that we... Well, we didn't have Scott McTominay to bag two goals within three minutes, did we? But United are through to the League Cup semi-final. And... While it's a competition which doesn't really carry huge significance for any United fan, it could carry huge significance for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. 
to win that first bit of silverware, especially halfway through the season as well, because typically I think the League Cup final is in what, February, March time? It could, to do that halfway through a season, if United can continue this sort of momentum, that's like, what, 19, 20 domestic away games that we've, we're unbeaten? It's truly sensational, our form away from home. And that form that we showed in the last game against Leeds mean we can do it at Old Trafford as well. If we can combine those two, we can stay injury-free, we can get Diallo in in January, maybe even get a new signing as well. United are in good shape at the moment. And as I said, it's a massive, massive difference. So 12 months ago, when everything seemed to be falling apart and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, his head was on the block. But he survived. United survived. He's came through, come through another cycle. And he's come through another cycle this season as well. After the Istanbul game, there were so many people calling for Solskjaer. But United are not only turning it around now, we're turning it into form. We're creating new patterns and new habits. And I hope that continues because those two games against Leeds and against Everton, we've been dominating from the start. I want to see the same thing against Leicester. I hope we can get some goals in there. But give it, give it, give it to Eddie Cavani. Seriously, what a goal from the Uruguayan striker. United through to the semi-final of the League Cup. Let me know who your man of the match is in the comments below. But United 2, Everton nil. Happy days.